Recently, I played through Far Cry 5 with Junkyard Digs and I drove him insane. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because he's a car guy and I drove him and- yeah, you get it. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me. The game begins alone because even though this game has co-op, you have to go through 40 minutes of tutorial before you're allowed to play with a friend. Why do games keep doing this? Just let me play with my friend from the beginning, game. Though I guess it's better than waiting nine months for co-op. <coughs> Halo. Yeah, I know Halo had a co-op beta recently, but that's like eating popcorn kernels instead of pop popcorn. Maybe this analogy is falling apart a little. Where was I? Oh right, I haven't even started. The game begins in Hope County, in the fictional state of Montana, with the main character watching a video montage on their phone about the guy they're going to arrest while they're on their way to arrest the guy, which is kind of weird. We pass a life-size statue of Doc Platter and Sheriff Horseman of the Apocalypse tries to get us to chicken out because he's a US cop and this is a dangerous situation, so of course he's going to try to not do his job even if other people are in imminent danger. How I Met Your Mother tells Sheriff Horseman of the Apocalypse to stop being a baby back bitch and we land and walk into the church to arrest Doc Platter, and we just let him monologue at us for a little bit before finally arresting him and holding W to walk back to the helicopter because you literally can't do anything else during this sequence. Why even bother making me press W at all? After getting in the helicopter, Doc Platter's Peggy's jump on to try and save him, and one of them jumps into the main prop, except the helicopter acts like it's suddenly missing its tail rotor, and we spin gently into the ground and die, and that's the end of the game. But then there's more. We wake up inverted on the z-axis and find out that there's no separation of church and state at the Hope County Police Department, and Doc Platter starts kidnapping everyone, but we escape and run away into a pop-up tutorial. Oh good. My favorite. We learn stealth and catch back up to How I Met Your Mother and practice trigger discipline on some country bumpkins before borrowing a car and getting motion sick in the passenger seat because the game decided that your FOV means fuck all when you're in a car and it just defaults to the original FOV because fuck you and your motion sickness. How I Met Your Mother drives off a bridge and into a river because US Marshals can't be trusted behind the wheel and we're kidnapped by Kid Named Finger who brings us to his bunker and ties us up and somehow this doesn't turn into 10 Cloverfield Lane because he just unties us and lets us change into some fresh clothes. We listen to Kid Named Finger talk at us for a few minutes and then leave the vault to explore the wasteland to find our son, and no, wait, wrong script. Turns out this game ripped off Dying Light the following, and the only way to progress story missions in this game is to do a bunch of repetitive side missions until the game is sufficiently satisfied that you've wasted an arbitrary amount of time. We do some Ubisoft-based liberation and climb a Ubisoft tower so they can make a joke about not having to climb Ubisoft towers, except we still had to climb this Ubisoft tower, so it feels like kind of a lame joke. Then we're forced to watch an ad for a startup company on our, uh, portable CRT TV. How are we watching this? Where we find out that Garfield's owner has graduated levels of crazy from talking to himself to kidnapping people so he can give them special hugs. And now we can finally play co-op, so here's some highlights before the next story mission. Might as well rip off the format I used for Dying Light the following, considering this game ripped it off too. Is it a ripoff if I'm ripping off myself? Anyways. <laughs> that would look excessive. We probably look like a couple of idiots in our fucking <laughs> America flag shirts ripping around on ATV. Yeah, that's why I'm not the mullet. Hey man, you <laughs> leave my mullet alone. Off with your head. Oh shit, I shot you, sorry. What up, Boomer? Boomer! Look at me. I have the dog, I don't need you anymore. That's honestly <laughs> fair. <laughs> I think our car is failing. That's okay, I got this. This is my thing. Alright, Junkyard Dicks, do your thing! Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't have a repair torch? Uh, I don't come with a pair of pliers? This is some shit. See, you should just get that automatically because you're you. I should spawn in with a crescent wrench. We come across a town full of people practicing their religious freedom, but we're hardcore atheists and don't like that. So we murder them and get a drink with a registered special hugger and bottle blonde to celebrate being atheists. Wait. Oh wow, that's thunderous. I love it. Oh, I, I, I think I killed a hostage. <laughs> well, you killed more piggies than hostages, so that's profitable. That is ROI, my friend. As a net positive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my tool tip was use the quit button to quit the mission. I was like, okay, game. I get it. I'm not very good, but... <laughs> <laughs> give up now. Ubisoft is like, yeah, maybe you should just give up, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Big rig trucking apocalypse. Sorry, I had to run over that bear. Oh, so oh, shit. Yeah, fuck him up. Wow, this bear deals out a lot of damage. Come here. Oh, he's running. I don't think so. 
Yeah! I don't think so. <laughs> Fuck them up! <laughs> All right. <laughs> After finally doing enough side missions, we're captured by Garfield's owner and get dragged into their weird family bathing time before being sent to the farm upstate. But before we reach the farm, we're rescued by our friends that we help murder some forest dwellers so we can gentrify the countryside and make money renting apartments for ridiculous prices because of the nice view. And now for more fucking around until we can do more finding out. There's a Hollywood sign, but it just says yes. Yeah, that's, that's the yes sign. <laughs> that is the yes sign. <laughs> I, I ain't won much for math, but I think this adds up. That sign says yes. Yes, it's the yes sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, oh shit. I died. <laughs> killed you. I killed you. Oh, no, no, no. No, Merle, wait, no. Yellow. Oh, no. That is not what I expected. Who knew if you jumped out of a helicopter? You would die! And grenades. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was me on accident. I shot the helicopter. Remember that auto-rotation thing I was talking about? Yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> I'm dead. Um... I survived. <laughs> you survived? I'm I don't know where I am, but... I'm just driving. Out for a Sunday cruise, really. A nice... Palm trip through these weeds through this river. This ain't gonna end well. Um, Will? <laughs> oh no, he's AFK and he's in the bottom of the river. <laughs> Oh my god, what did oh, you do? Drowning! <laughs> well, we gotta get out! I don't think I'm drowning, actually. Well, what the fuck? What the hell was that? Oh, maybe I was drowning. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get you out of there. I'll, I'll get your- I'll get your body, man, don't you worry. <laughs> Oh, oh no. fuck. That's a river. Well, I think I'm gonna hop out here. Yep. It's been fun. <laughs> I was gonna take a shortcut. That was not a shortcut. Yeah, I still don't know if I should just like pick up a real gun or what. Because, here, I'll pick up this guy's gun. Oh, hello! I'm being attacked by a turkey? <laughs> what? Dude, this turkey just fucking lit me up. I gotta check my mail quick. God damn, it foreclosed on my house. You foreclose on your house? What? I was I was over here checking my mail, doing a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see that you were doing a bit. I thought you just like <laughs> you just had some mail. I was like, really? I thought you were kind of a successful YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> I play Far Cry Five with check your takes as this house gets foreclosed. <laughs> oh, that's not a good place. Uh oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Got sent to the next county. Wow, how are we supposed to not get hit with a bomb? Oh yeah, there's not much survive in those planes. What the hell? So if we all walk this way, and then we turn around, there might be a tar. Yeah, and there it is. Oh, that's a cow. Never mind. There. <laughs> oh. oh, is he dead? Thing ragged oh, off God. so much. <laughs> Um, um... Oh, no! Oh, run! Run! Go! Go! Watch <laughs> it! <laughs> I was inside the bear. We get captured by Garfield's owner again, and he tells us that he doesn't take no for an answer, which is why he's got two women tied up in his basement. After refusing to say yes, he takes New York River Cop away to give her special hugs, so we throw ourselves down a flight of stairs to get out of our chair with absolutely no negative consequences because we're wearing plot armor and can't be killed by minor inconveniences like the force of gravity or shattered bones. We catch up to New York River Cop, but she's locked behind a door with Garfield's owner, so he floods the chamber with a deadly neurotoxin to get rid of us, which is somehow effective, despite the fact that we've clearly not been using our brain for the last three hours. So we escaped the bunker, and now it's back to more fucking around. Oh my god, that's incredible. I just got a collateral kill with a fucking shovel. This is only one camera view. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Did he just get combine harvested? What the fuck? Can I put this on the back? 
Yeah, hang on. Is there a button? Yeah. Oh, all right. Let me let me line you up. Yes. Hang on. Oh shit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. I'm sure that'll be okay. Onward to victory. Oh, looks like victory is the other direction. Nine hundred fifty meters. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My bad. What's the horn button? F. F. Of course. F for funk. <laughs> It's the funk button. <laughs> hey, funk you! <laughs> Dude, I was funking right at you. I was at it for months. Ready to stick it out. Should have seen the look. I was at it for months. Ready to stick it out. I was at it for months. Okay, okay bro. Girl. Just shut <laughs> up! God! Ah, uh, I'm back in the fictional state of Montana. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, ah, oh, what the oh, fuck? <laughs> nope. Sorry about that. I'm not, not even sure if that was a friendly or not. No, the enemies are all in white. Greater good. We're focusing on the greater good. The, the greater, greater good. good. Hang on, I'm coming. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm not even a little bit. Oh, wait, no. I you look so bit. crippled on the ground. Oh my god, your body was all mangled and your mouth was hanging open. He was like, kill me. I'll just pick you up like, nah, you're fine. Get in. Oh, shit. I missed. Now I'm on rockets. Oh. I can't see anything. He's still stuck! <laughs> He's not even on my screen. <laughs> oh wait, no, on my screen. Oh, it's- I, I think his time. foot is destroying the car. <laughs> oh, he's hurting me! <laughs> oh, fuck! No! <laughs> Did his corpse kill us? Oh, well, it's not a Ubisoft game unless things like this happen. <laughs> Turns out Sheriff Horseman of the Apocalypse needs some help keeping white people out of jail, so we defend the prison industrial complex to ensure that the only people who deserve to be in there are locked up, like people with minor drug offenses, minorities, and people who talk in movie theaters. After sufficiently defending the status quo for an arbitrary amount of time, we catch up with everyone, but the old white man touches our chest as soon as everyone else is out of the room. And now for more side questing. Now, deputy... no. oh, <laughs> What's- did you just kill a guy? No... What just well, happened? This- this dude just wait, died. he shot wait. him! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, he pulled a gun and shot him! Fucking racism! A white girl what? killed someone and he shoots the black man in the bed! Wow! Look at his face! Holy shit. I've got everything I need. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, I can't watch this while it's going off, like, the FOV. Close your eyes, I'll tell you when to open them and pull the trigger. Oh. <laughs> Just tell me when to pull the trigger, I won't even look. <laughs> <laughs> you got a guy behind you? Am I looking behind me correctly? Well, well! <laughs> <laughs> Damn girl, them ankles though. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The fact that there's what the fuck is going on? I'm like a hundred meters in the air. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Here we go. Battlefield three. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we do it in Battlefield three. <laughs> Boomer, no. God, he always dies in fire. That dog is always on fire. <laughs> I hope this is not deep. <laughs> I hope it's not deep. All right. Oh. <laughs> Damn well, it. The good news is the turret still works. So we can go fishing. The bad news is it was deep. <laughs> we meet up with a bagel whose plane got stolen, so we promised to get it back for him without pulling a launch pad McQuack. Dude, dude. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. 
Oh, we moe. Oh, we moe. There's a rocket sticking out of your chest. <laughs> oh, it's a whole RPG. <laughs> Is that a rocket in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? After getting it back, the people we borrowed it from want it back. So we helped the bagel defend his property from the repo men and reinvigorate his fighting spirit to stay behind and defend his home from dangerous cultists with his pregnant wife instead of their original plan of getting the hell out of Dodge so his pregnant wife doesn't get hurt. We get a call from Garfield's owner to meet up with him, so we head to church. After arriving, we get knocked out and tattooed and forced to sit through the world's least awkward sermon before pulling a gun out of a Bible, which is the most American thing in this entire game, and this game has an 18-wheeler with a machine gun. Unfortunately, Garfield's owner escaped, so we chase him down only to find that he escaped in a plane, so we blow his piece of junk out of the sky and hunt him down with absolutely no problems whatsoever. We steal Garfield's owner's bunker's keys, uh, uh whoops, too many S's, and desecrate his corpse before heading to the bunker to do, uh, why are we going there? Oh yeah, New York River Cop was being held there for weeks. I totally forgot about that. After saving New York River Cop, er, kinda, we rescue some sex slaves. I mean special hug buddies and blow up the bunker. Then we have a drink with our buddies and the registered special hugger reiterates that we're only friends because we were useful and listen to some, uh, secret dreamscape message from Doc Bladder? I'm not really sure how he's talking to us right now. And now that Garfield's owner is dead, we're moving on to our next target, Hope County State Farm Representative, because we don't believe in insurance. Plus, Junkyard Diggs can just bring any car back from the dead. That's his whole thing. Okay, let's, uh, maybe try a little stealth. I don't let's see. What do we got for... That's a grenade, not a knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. okay uh, stealth is off. off. Ooh, I think I have enough for the um, faith outfit. I do. <laughs> oh, Perfect. no. Burn it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> there's already nothing left. We killed Do someone? not kill innocent civilians. Wait, we have to enter the statue? Oh, this is a mission. Shit. Eh, we'll pick it up later. <laughs> <laughs> She's just glowing. She's really trying to glow up over here. After getting the State Farm representative's attention, he kidnaps us and forces us to watch a student film full of stock footage that he definitely just pirated, and then platters all over us, so we grab some guns and fight through a nightmare dream sequence that's definitely not subconscious conditioning for anything, but there's no way to fight it even if you know exactly what's going on. We're rescued by some corpse fuckers because we're not a corpse, so they're not into us, and listen to a fight where they argue over the fact that they can't trust us because we're brainwashed, which is a totally fair assessment, but they decide to help us anyways. And now for more nothing until we have something to do. <laughs> Dude, look how hard I'm punching this fucking locker. I'm leaving a dent in it. Do you know how much that would fucking hurt? Dude. <laughs> it's all the meth. <laughs> yeah, jeez, it is the meth. Where is it? We were thinking of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the helicopter killed me. <laughs> Boomer. Thank you, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you swinging out every once in a while. <laughs> oh my god, I'm attached to the other helicopter! Can I pull it down? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, Jesus, there's a mortar coming down on me. I'm out of ammo already. I'll take care uh, of the boomer. mortar. No! I exploded Boomer! I'm sorry! <laughs> ah! I set Boomer on fire and then I caught on fire. <laughs> I, I lean over and you're just like uncomfortably close to me. Kiss me. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? <laughs> you got games on your phone? Na, 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 Meth na, water. <laughs> this is really good for your health. I feel my pores being cleansed. <laughs> I can feel everything being cleansed. <laughs> Uh, I don't I've think this was the right control. way. No, I think it is. Maybe. Oh. Oh, hey, it's me. <laughs> Faith just showed up. 
Oh, hey, you. It's you again. Hello, me. It's me again. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> nice story. Tell it to Reader's Digest. <laughs> Okay, Boomer, you like suppressive fire. Remember, you're a dog. <laughs> Remember, right. you're a dog. He's fixed. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he had an existential crisis there for a sec, but we reminded him. You don't have to pay taxes, Boomer. He's like, oh, thank God. This is my jam. Very intense, creepy music. Yeah, intense, creepy music track three. I love that shit. <laughs> I was more of a five, but... <laughs> RPG inbound, let me clear the door. Breach and clear! <laughs> clear! <laughs> Sniper to the right! Yeah, suppressing fire! <laughs> I would not want to fuck with two guys who are using an LMG and a rocket launcher. And close quarters. It's like, what about backblast? What about backblast? <laughs> Can you still repair this? Oh, I can, but no. But I thought that was your whole thing. We're missing a couple key components, sir. After getting kidnapped again, we listen to Doc Platter do that bad guy monologue thing that literally every single bad guy does, so we're not really paying attention, but the gist of it is that he's crazy, which we already knew. The State Farm representative sends us back to the Nightmare Dream sequence, and we arcade race our way through to the end. Good. This just reminds me of, like, you know those old arcade games that was, like, Hydro Thunder? Then you get a checkpoint, it's like, time extended! Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then we wake up at the bottom of a cliff because gravity is really only a suggestion. Oh no, is this mission we have to go fucking fish? I think so. Five really? Meters. Ubisoft! Get, Come get in on! The car, son. We gotta do some quality father's daughter wife time. I don't really know what we are. <laughs> idiot, idiot time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move this out of the way. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Ow! That seems to have been a terrible idea. They blew me up. I'm trying. Oh my god. Thanks. Get in the plane! Okay, I got him. I love how their corpses just ragged all out. Wee! <laughs> That's something you can say in a video game and not in real life. I love how their corpses just ragged all. <laughs> <laughs> this might get rough. Okay, we do have cheeseburger assigned. Cheeseburger is dying. You're killing cheeseburger. If we hit something at the right speed, we'll be thrown into the air. No, cheeseburger! Yeah. What the fuck is this physics, dude? We get randomly kidnapped mid-plane ride and find out that we've been kidnapped for a week. And now it's the State Farm representative's time to do the whole bad guy monologue, so we're not really paying attention, but the implication is that he's a cannibal. And now it's time for more Nightmare Dream sequence. Time extended. <laughs> Rick Grimes frees us from our cage and reveals the plan that we totally didn't already know and saves us by pushing us out of a window on top of a car and somehow no one saw us and the truck ends up abandoned in the middle of nowhere. Uh, who drove it here? Are we going to attempt to land this? Sure, why not? Oh boy. Is this a float plane? No, it's not. I think we can go under that bridge. I suppose you can. Oh. <laughs> you hit whatever that was. A person. Damn, dude. Rigor mortis sets in and they're just hard as stone. You may now utilize your, your seat cushion as a flotation device and we'll make our way to shore. <laughs> Thank you for flying. We agree to help unkidnap some people and murder our way through a lodge full of tourists because tourism is ruining America and then we get a little lost. We deprogram subliminal messaging with rock music, which I'm pretty sure is not how that works, but I'm not a neurologist or whatever kind of doctor would be relevant in this instance, so what do I know? Cheeseburger, no! No! <laughs> you killed Cheeseburger! <laughs> he ran right into it! Oh, okay, he's okay. Alright. I pissed off an airplane, too. Oh, this could be a. F and everything's on fire. Oh, this could be an interesting cutscene. <laughs> like, this is so chaotic <laughs> happening. <laughs> is that an enemy? Oh, hello, yeah. Okay. What is. What is Dude, there's flaming wolves! I'm being attacked by flaming wolves! Ah! Let me crash the <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you could get drunk. Oh, yeah. You can get high, too. I got drunk out of one beer. <laughs> like, I have, to, I have to craft liquor. <laughs> okay. Uh, dude, I can't aim at all. <laughs> 
Oh, all right. Let's, let's go. go get this truck. Oh my god, I can't. I can't walk in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sniper. <laughs> oh no, that's uh, not gonna. Cheeseburger, fuck him up. Go get him, cheeseburger. I got dynamite. It's okay, man. Yeah. Everyone knows dynamite's a good. T oh, hang on. I gotta stop and drink a beer. I got one. Oh, okay. Ooh, that a good start, <laughs> <laughs> We're just right, this is honestly really entertaining. Fumbling up a hill. Oh, All God. This, man. And then we accidentally do a mission out of order by getting kidnapped by Jingleheimer Schmidt, who frolics with us through a field of flowers and shares a sub story with us before we become fairies and fly up to a statue to meet How I Met Your Mother, who falls off a cliff. So we follow him to answer that age-old question of whether we jump off a bridge if our friends did. And it turns out we actually threw ourselves off a cliff and survived because we've got plot armor and can't be killed by theoretical science. Got this one. Got him, one shot. Nice. Oh, <laughs> hit the pilot. <laughs> um It lived. Did they survive? Free helicopter. Free helicopter. Dude, we could totally take that. All right, let's go. <laughs> He's got hung up in the tree, I guess. Awesome. Well, this could have turned out better. I didn't even hit the vehicle when I shot it. Nice. Thanks, you'd be soft. I got force. I got four pork. pork yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you really did find alcohol back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, we can liberate some people. I can, like, actually liberate them this time. I didn't kill ah. innocent. Fuck you. Ah, that went poorly. <laughs> can you imagine watching two dudes drop in from a flaming airplane with a bear? <laughs> and then they just both pop out. One's wearing a dress, and they both have M60s. I just leave. We get only you'd by the State Farm representative and platter on again, where we end up killing that one guy that decided to help us earlier that we literally only met once before because we completely ignored all of his quests up until this point. Oh no, not him. And then there's an argument about not killing us because we were brainwashed, but like, I agree with the kid. You should shoot us. We're clearly not trustworthy and suffering severe brainwashing. And then we walk outside into a nightmare dreamscape and hallucinate a bunch of shit further reiterating that we shouldn't be walking around freely. After hunting down the State Farm representative, um, are we sure that it's the real guy that we killed? We're clearly not right in the head, so he could have just tricked us and ran off. Anyways, after we kill him, we desecrate his corpse and head to his bunker to rescue Rick Grimes, who has a psychotic break, and we just let him fire a big gun because this is America. Why would we worry if someone with clear mental issues has a gun? After we escape the exploding bunker, we watch the Darth Vader funeral scene from Return of the Jedi and listen to Doc Platter send us another secret dreamscape message. And now that we've killed John and Jacob, we're off to kill Jingleheimer Schmidt. Now how the fuck do we get out of here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, we can't talk. Go away. I found it. It's over here. Ah! I set the. <laughs> I tried to ping and I set it on fire. I'm gonna. I'm on fire. <laughs> this car sounds mean as hell. Crazy. It's only doing 60. <laughs> Oops. Sorry there, man. Nah, he's fine. He's a bad guy. Oh, what was the throw can button? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wait, what is it? T. <laughs> 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 Infinite beer cans! Why is this a mechanic? I just ferment beer in my cooch because it's that dry. <laughs> what? Ooh, I'm drunk as hell. Oh. I think that was Faith trying to give us a side mission. <laughs> no, that was a that was a main mission. It had a flag. <laughs> she she just popped up and we fucking gunned her down before she even said a word. <laughs> We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warrant. <laughs> Stealth! Stealth! <laughs> Stealth means we just let off the trigger once in a while on our full auto weapons. <laughs> yeah, if, so, if you can't hear anything anymore because you've been firing yeah. your gun for so long, that's stealth. All you just hear is a faint ringing from all the tinnitus that we're getting from using a light machine gun. We get drugged by Jingleheimer Schmidt and teabag a jackalope. Yeah, fuck you, jackalope! Get <laughs> fucked! Get fucked! <laughs> yeah! Before joining a prayer circle that spoils the ending of the game to us, and we wake up in the middle of an overdose just in time to recreate that one scene from Pulp Fiction. And now we're off to get more drugs because we're an addict now.
I'm just trying to get to my damn hands. Oh, my hands are not available. I'm right just now. trying to get to my hands. <laughs> my hands are not available right now. There we go. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are not available right now. <laughs> Where are my hands? <laughs> Will murdered a guy. <laughs> I just wanted the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now my hands are oh literally actually God. not available. <laughs> I just wanted a pizza. Will murdered a guy. Where are my hands? Where the hell did the shovel go? Oh, I just pick it up instantly. Yeah. Once we walked into a cave full of angels when we were playing this, and my buddy just started, he was playing, and he started throwing bats. Bats? Oh, okay. My brain immediately went to the animal. I was like, you, you throw bats? <laughs> Look, my buddy was just throwing bats! He's Batman. I could consume six homeopathics. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do, do that. that quick. Just you do it right now. Eat a bunch of drugs. <laughs> yeah. Don't even land. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I have to land. Yeah. I'll fix it in the meantime. Okay. Oh, I hear Faye. There she is. Boop! Oh, fuck. There What's he gonna turn into? <laughs> I am super buffed! Look how fast oh. I run! <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna punch this moose to death! Fuck you! Oh my oh god! My <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! Oh, am I watching this wrong? Is this yeah. happening? Get fucked! <laughs> I'm gonna punch you to death! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, do they compound? They just explode. Sorry, Ooh. buddy, collateral damage! <laughs> oh, holy fuck. You are like six hills over killing everyone. Oh. I haven't even got to my torch yet. Holy what? shit, that was amazing. I see more okay. moose. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> it's a one hit! I am it one is... punch man! <laughs> Psych them out, come back here! <laughs> After getting drugged again, we go through a romantic boat ride with How I Met Your Mother, where he channels his inner white girl and says that he's so done with everything. So we follow him and force him back to reality because drugs are bad, okay? And now we're off to finally piss off Jingleheimer Schmidt enough to kill her. These boys like Mexico. Ow, ow! Oh, ow actually, what the? <laughs> sorry, I didn't think I could. <laughs> I, just, I just beat the shit out of you. <laughs> be less hey, mad when you pick hey, me up. <laughs> <laughs> I just started slapping the fuck out of you with a shovel because I didn't think it would hurt. I love fire in this game. I like, guess it's, <laughs> yeah. it's the worst. Oh, plane! What the fuck? <laughs> well, hang on. I might be able to. Yeah, you might be able to steal that. Uh, you might have to give me a. Oh, eh? Oh, oh. Hey, oh. Eh, oh. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh yeah! yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We get drugged again and Jingleheimer Schmidt chastises us for not doing drugs and we watch her mind control how I met your mother into opening the prison and killing himself, so we get drunk and assault the prison with a large gun. After saving everyone, we head back to the drugscape to fight Jingleheimer Schmidt with a shovel launcher. We beat her, but like, did we really? We did all this during a trip. Are we sure the real Jingleheimer Schmidt is dead? We rescue Sheriff Horseman of the Apocalypse from Jingleheimer Schmidt's bunker with absolutely no problems whatsoever and head back to the prison so Doc Platter can send us a final secret dreamscape message. And now we're off to get him too. We meet up with Doc Platter and let him monologue at us for a bit where he reveals that he captured everyone in the five minutes we took to drive over here. So he gives us a choice to fight back or leave and this is where it gets a little fucky. See, if you choose to resist him, then the end of this game leads into the spinoff Far Cry New Dawn. So it was considered the canon ending. But as of Far Cry 6, which takes place after this, the US is still just fine, which means the walk away ending is the actual canon one. 
bad or the secret ending at the beginning where you don't even attempt to arrest him. But we're going with the resist ending because we're a cop and can't resist any opportunity to kill people. Doc Platter starts the apocalypse and we save our friends through the power of murder, but Doc Platter detonates a nuke so we drive away and everyone dies because in what reality could we actually outrun a nuclear bomb? After driving to a bunker, we crash because cops can't be trusted behind the wheel, and Doc Platter locks us up in a bunker and monologues at us for a bit. And that's the end of the game. Wait, really? Game over. Special thanks to my patrons, whose continued support makes these videos possible. If you want to support the channel as well, patrons get a special avatar that goes at the end of the videos they help support, as well as early access to videos and full-res artwork from thumbnails.